Hi Snaps. Hope uh, you guys are having a great Friday. Anyways, I'm just trying to enjoy this nice weather here in DC. It has been raining for a couple of days. Also, I uh, probably won't cover today's most popular article only because something very historic happened yesterday. If you haven't been following the news, uh, yesterday was a very historic event, especially for Korea. That's where my parents are from. And so I have a lot of personal connections to this story. But North Korea, North Korea and South Korea decide to officially end the war. So for those who don't remember or have not read about it, the Korean War happened between 1950 to 1953. And since then, the two countries had only ended in a truce, not a real peace treaty. Part of this peace treaty, they would denuclearize the peninsula, so no nukes or testing facilities anymore, and also steps toward a unification of the two countries. And so personally for me, the reason why this is actually very meaningful is because uh, my uh, grandfather actually died in the Korean War uh, fighting for the South and um, he was actually um, killed by the North Koreans uh, when he was the chief police in this precinct. So my grandmother actually fleed from the North as a refugee when the North invaded um, and actually see seek refuge in the South. And so we technically still have relatives um, up there, mainly for my father and his uncles and aunts. And over 65 years, we still have no idea their, about their whereabouts. And now um, we may have a chance after this. Yeah, so for a full peace treaty to happen, experts say that in order for it to be completely um, signed, the US and China, the original um, entities during the Korean War, have to also sign to really officially end it. So I am cautiously optimistic that we are on track to actually have real peace on the peninsula. So if it wasn't for the courage of my grandmother to flee down with my grandfather, um, and if it wasn't for the courage of my grandfather to protect the precinct, and if it wasn't for the audacity and courage of my dad to immigrate to this country, I wouldn't be here. And so I'm forever grateful to this great country and the pursuit of happiness and better opportunity. We owe it to all the people that fight for our freedom so we could enjoy the fruits of their sacrifice. And thanks for taking the time to listen to my story and also my family's story. Because uh, I really don't share that much personally. But anyways, thanks for the follow as always. And if you like a snap, please screenshot it so I can do my daily commentary. Otherwise, you guys have a great weekend. See ya.